So you've rocked the LSTAT, been accepted to law school, and sent your letter of acceptance. Well, what happens now? First year is the most important year of law school and arguably one of the hardest years. Your 1L grades will determine your class rank, the academic honors you're awarded, and the job opportunities that are offered to you. With this in mind, in this video, I'll talk about what you can expect during your first year of law school. Number one, the teaching method. During 1L year, you'll learn the material through the case method. This is the method in which students will read, brief, and analyze court cases and be expected to participate in classroom discussions surrounding those cases. Law school professors will often facilitate this discussion through the Socratic method approach, where students will be called upon at random, cold calling to help them draw their own conclusions about the legal rules and their underlying theories, presumptions, and utilities. I would recommend raising your hand as much as possible, and maybe then you might not be cold called. Next up, we have the classes. In general, the same seven foundational classes are taught during 1L year of law school. Those classes are civil procedure, constitutional law, contracts, torts, criminal procedure, legal research and writing, and property law. First up, we have civil procedure, also known as CivPro. This course teaches the students about the rules that the parties and judge must follow in civil cases. It covers the litigation method in the United States, and the basics of a lawsuit, including pretrial procedures, discovery motions, and appellate procedures. Next up, constitutional law. This is an introduction to the U.S. Constitution and the different branches of U.S. government. It explores the separation of powers, as well as individual constitutional rights and U.S. Supreme Court decisions. You can also expect to take a deep dive into the due process and equal action causes of the 14th Amendment while taking this course. Next up, contracts. Just as it sounds, this course is an overview of what else? Contracts, how they are formed, and what is considered a breach of contract. We'll also teach you about the damages that can occur when contracts are breached. Next up, torts. This is a fun word to say. Torts. If you don't know, a tort is an act or omission that gives rise to an injury or harm to another and amounts to a civil wrong for which courts impose liability in the context of torts. Injury describes the invasion of any legal right, whereas harm describes a loss or detriment in fact that an individual suffers. Say that five times fast. During this course, you'll analyze the reasoning behind judgments in civil cases and the different types of claims, which can include battery, assault, trespass, or negligent. This is really personal injury type law. Next up, we have the fun criminal law and procedure. If you like law and order, you'll love this class. Criminal law and procedure will teach you what is classified as a crime, as well as the general principles of criminal liability. This course will analyze the rules for enforcing sanctions as a penalty for disobeying a rule of law against those who have been accused of committing a crime. Most students, myself included, consider this one of the most interesting classes in law school. Next up, legal research and writing. Consider the most useful class in law school. This is a course that will teach you how to research the law and how to write memos and briefs, which you'll probably be doing a lot of if you become a lawyer. It might also include teaching you how to present all our arguments in front of judges. Lastly, property law, also known as real property. This course is an overview of the laws that govern purchases, possession, and the sale of property in the United States. It's considered one of the more difficult courses in law school. If you don't believe me, ask someone who went to law school what the rules against perpetuities are. It analyzes the relationships between people, resources, lands, buildings, and personal objects. Let's talk about summer jobs after 1L year. One of the most important reasons to ace your classes the first semester of your 1L year is to solidify your spot at the top of the class in preparation for on-campus interviews, or OCI. This also prepares you for other recruitment methods where prestigious law firms and organizations select the best and the brightest for summer employment before their 2L year. This is important because when students do well in these roles, employers often extend to them and offer a permanent employment after law school. That's why it's so crucial to do well your first semester of 1L year. These are the only grades that these employers have to go off of and will determine who they choose to interview. Let's talk about how to actually get to the top of your class. Outside of making sure you're dedicating enough time to your law school classes, students can also consider taking a law school prep course before starting their 1L year. When you take the law prep course or preview course, real law professors teach you how to navigate the law school experience by introducing you to the core 1L material and proven strategies employed by the most successful students. This law school prep course gives you a comprehensive overview of the core classes you'll face. You'll be taking 
or you'll have during your 1L law school curriculum. This course includes an overview of foundational classes we discussed above, as well as legal school research and writing. More information about the course can be found in the description above. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.